Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this gorgeously textured lots of bobbles throw. Now this is an easy crochet blanket pattern. The final blanket measures approximately 50 by 62, 63 inches and uh, it's worked in rows lengthwise. This pattern is made up of lots of bobble stitches and then a striping color work pattern. It has a smooth back, this highly textured front. It does use quite a bit of yarn and it's quite heavy but has a beautiful drape as well. So if you're crazy about bobble stitches, this blanket is for you. The lots of bobble stitch throw uh, will require approximately 20 balls of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using Karen Simply Soft. You'll need 10 balls in a color A and 10 balls in color B. My color A is this dark blue, uh, country blue and an off-white for my color B. If you're looking to change up the yarn, just any worsted weight yarn will do. This one is a 100% acrylic. There's approximately 315 yards per ball of yarn. So uh, you'll need 20 of those in total. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com to follow along. I'll put links to all of these items in the description of the video for you. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet blanket patterns on this channel and it's updated weekly. I'd love for you to uh, say hi in the comments and if you happen to make this crochet blanket be sure to tag me on social media. Now our blanket pattern today is worked in rows and it's worked in rows lengthwise. We're going to start by using our color A which is my dark country blue. You're going to make a slip knot and then work a foundation chain of 136 chains. Now if you would like to change the size of your blanket as I'm going to do today, you're going to need a total, uh, a, a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches. So today I'm just going to work a swatch of the blanket. I'm going to start by chaining 24 stitches. There's 10, 15, 16, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So chain 136, which will give you a length of about 62, 63 inches, or chain a multiple of four stitches. You're then for row one going to work a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then in each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch you will want to switch to your color B and I will show you how to do that when I come across my foundation chain here. Now I've come all the way across working a single crochet in each stitch. I'm here at my final chain stitch. To switch to my color B, uh, I'm going to insert my hook into that final chain, yarn over, and draw up a loop. I'm then going to drop my color A, pick up my color B, and place it on my hook. Now some people like to uh, work a slip knot and then place it on that way. It's up to you. And pull your color B through. You're now all set to continue working in your color B. There's no need to fasten off the color A. We're going to carry it up the side of our blanket. 
So with your color B, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin row two by working a single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then work a bobble stitch into your next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. You're going to do that a total of five times. So that was our first. All into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That was twice. Back into the same stitch, three times, four, and five. So you should have a total of six loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all six. You're then going to work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. When you work that first single crochet, it's going to cause your bobble stitch to pop out on the opposite side, which is the front side of your fabric. So there's one single crochet, two, and then three. You're now going to repeat. Work one bobble stitch into the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet into the, each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across. You should end with a bobble stitch with one stitch remaining and you're going to work a final single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row two, you have one stitch remaining single crochet into that final stitch, chain one and turn your work. You should now have the bobbles facing you. You're going to work row three by working a single crochet into the first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. So you're working your single crochets uh, in the color B and into each single crochet and into the e top of each bobble stitch all the way across. At the end of your row three, you're going to switch back to your color A. So I'm here at the end of my row three. What you do uh, is your color A should be nicely attached still down here at the bottom. You're simply going to pick it up, place it on your hook and pull through. Just be careful that you're not pulling it too tight because you don't want your fabric to bunch. At the end of the blanket we're going to work a fringe over this edging so you're not going to see these little places where you've pulled up your yarn. It just makes it easier than having to uh, fasten off and weave in all of these little ends. So just simply carry it up the side as I've done here. You're then going to chain one in your color A and turn your work. We're going to work another row of bobble stitches. This time single crochet in each of the first three stitches and then bobble stitch into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then bobble stitch 
in the next stitch. At the end of your row, you will have three stitches remaining following your bobble stitch. So you're going to work a single crochet into each of those last three stitches. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. You should now see that your baubles are kind of alternating between one another on your blanket. For row five, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row five, you're going to switch back to your color B. At the end of your row five, you're picking up your color B again, just carefully pulling it up the side and working it into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of the blanket pattern we're going to repeat rows 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 2 all the way through to 5 until your work from the beginning measures approximately 50 inches. Once it measures 50 inches you can fasten off and then weave in any ends and I'll show you how I worked the fringe on the end of my blanket. There's no other edging so if you would rather not have a fringe on the short ends of your blanket you'll want to add another simple edging maybe a half double crochet or single crochet edging worked in your color A. It's really up to you. Also, uh, one more thing, uh, at the end of your blanket, you're going to end on a row five. And so after your row four, you'll want to switch early to your color A and work your final row five in that color A. That way you'll have a dark blue on both edges. So uh, work your 50 inches and uh, meet me back here and I'll show you how I would like to work my fringe.